Hello everyone, Praise Scooter here, and welcome back to more of Link's Awakening, the remake. Last time, we did some dungeons involving weaponry, as the pattern. Trust me, it's weird for me as well. Considering I had to do it, do one of them twice, because my system crashed. Anyway, hi, Dompe. I feel like I should have saved in between episodes, but whatever, we're here, we're doing it again. What you got next? Bows are better than sword. Well, don't speak too soon. You don't get to use your sword here. But you got all the junk, yeah? Okay. So I get to make a bow dungeon. How do I wish to do this one? Well, I feel like oddly enough. Okay. No bosses come from the right or... Dang it. Okay. So that's how we're gonna do this. I'm gonna just put the bloop, the angler fish here as the boss, but uh, I think I kind of have a way to get around some barricades, we'll say. So I'll, as per normal, I'll come back with you guys in just a minute. This dungeon design can go away. This can actually just go away. Ugh. Why? I don't know why the algorithm in this is so dumb where it doesn't automatically find the next possible target instead of just... Ugh. Like, in all actuality. I'm si I don't know how long that sped up portion is going to be. I might even speed up faster than I normally do. Because I got to a point where I just had nothing where I could put anywhere. I, I felt like I, I'm pull, I was pulling hairs near the end there. Out of my head and out of the game's head.
<sighs> Whatever. It's all done now. It's all here. In. Uh. It's here. In glorious creation. I don't care. I'll take the hit. Just give me the thing. I really am not very hopeful if this is where if this is where the uh, dungeon creation is gonna set me is what foot is if this, he ha he ha 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 if this is the foot the dungeon creation is gonna set me off on at this point where we're at three out of twelve when uh, assist me my brain like really hurts trying to do this I'm trying to set this all up. Leave me alone. I don't need anything more than my boomerang. So I will I will thank you kindly to stop talking to me while I've got my boomerang equipped. Like I feel like that what I did was like the only way you could complete this this uh what I did to complete this was like the only way you could complete this, by the way. Oh, I've done it again, haven't I? Uh, not really. I think this is the only colored gem room, so I think this is the only switch I have to flip. Like, <sighs> like, I mean, it was gonna happen at some point that something was gonna sour my mood while doing this, and I did, but I didn't expect it to be, you know, this early on at all. I just really wish that, like, I just really wish that, like, it would bring in more challenges and s more challenges centered around not using certain items rather than this dumb stipulation we got going on here. And, you know, if I really want to be super careful, I could have gone back out and gotten the bow. Or gotten the, uh, blue armor. Just so I don't die, but I'm not doing a five heart right now, so this is fine. Or whatever I wanted to do before. Move. Please move. Doing the same song and dance all over again, I see. So I guess something I'm going to put on the table here now, because I've, I've already kind of run out of stuff to talk about, is there are many Zeldas I haven't covered yet on the channel. So if I were to do a yet another Zelda game, is there a certain Zelda game you'd be pining for the most? Uh, well, that's what I was talking about in the last episode. Like, the Oracle games is on my table, and I, there's, I, don't, I don't know when I want to do that. I feel like I'm going to end up taking a break from the Game Boy lineage of Zelda games, or at least the Game Boy Classic lineage, Game Boy Color lineage, more more accurately. But, just, okay, no, it doesn't have, it does have, it does have one. I built, I built this. I built this because I got tired of, <laughs> I never went in a room. I never went in a room. Uh, gimme. Thank you. But like, is there another Zelda game, I guess, in the library of Zelda games that you guys are kind of pining for that I've covered at some point? Because, I mean, personally... Personally, like, I would like to take a mo- like, take some time and go... Oh, shoot. Oh! I can't. Well, good thing I don't have to kill all these guys to finish this room. I guess I don't think I do, anyway. I'm really hopeful I don't need to, at least. Let me say But yeah, like, I myself, I like, I'm kind of pining, or pining for playing uh, Twilight Princess next, considering I do keep saying... After the Link to the Past uh, duology, I'm really 
am, I really am hankering to play, you know, my, my until Breath of the Wild came out, my favorite 3D Zelda game. Really? Four, five or six boomerang spots? That was it? I mean, the boomerang's strong, don't get me wrong, but still. Also, I feel like every time they have something that's just like, hey, don't use your sword, it, for me it ends up becoming, use your boomerang. Also, I like how I just flat out made... I like how I just flat out made the bottle grotto. At one point. In this dungeon. Like, this is just straight up the bottle grotto. No questions about it. This two room combination I'm doing right here. But back to the whole, like... What the game expects you to do. I feel like this was... I feel like what we've got here is like... Was like a premeditated pattern they had when they designed this. Like the dungeon layout that I've got here. The exact tiles I put in here. It feels like that was exactly the tiles they had in play. For how long I was sitting there scratching my head going... Die with the go. I'm lost, George! God. If you know... If you're old enough to remember that kind of stuff, you know, you, you know I'll give you a shiny nickel. It may, it may buy you some Tootsie Pops that, that... I might buy you some Tootsie Rolls that... From back in ye, ye old heyday when that was a possibility of Tootsie Pops costing that much. Or Tootsie Rolls, excuse me. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to get political with this statement, by the way. It's just like... I feel like, if you ever want to see... Oh, I do have to kill these guys to get out of here. So do I just... I mean... Don't go back in there, please. Okay, there's that. Can I just throw another one down there by you? Will that do it? Um. But anyway, back to my controversial, st my controversial hot takes moment. But like, you know, when I was a kid, back when this game was new, get back when this game was new, new, you know, circa 1993, when this game was new, new, you could, I could go down to a corner store. With a, with a nickel in my pocket, and oh hey look, I just bought five Tootsie Rolls. Like little midgies Tootsie Rolls as they're called. Now I'm pretty sure I go down to the corner store with a, with a nickel, I can buy a Tootsie Roll. If that. There we go, got him. This dungeon is giving me a headache, man. <laughs> and I guess I brought it up as like possiblicism because you know, inflation. It's a real thing. That's probably like the that's probably an example anybody could get of inflation. Is just is just oh yeah. There was this thing back in the day that only cost a penny. Now it costs five cents. Hooray! I can't be harmed. Uh, pot's in the way. I'm really glad I've designed this in such a way now. Uh-oh. Uh, I want this button. Okay. Okay, good. Come to me. You know what? That's fine. Don't don't come to me. I'll come to you. I feel like that chest spawns in a different spot every single time I come in this room. Well, there's that way done. And now we go down. 
Uh. So what if I? That worked. I. Not gonna lie, was scared that that was not gonna work on the shy guy. You know, the only problem with me making my my dungeons and layouts in this exact pattern is that I eventually do get to a point where my uh don't charge me oh boy charge me I I have no fear I'm gonna look you dead in your eye as you die the issue with me designing my dungeon as I have is that you know I guess I don't go all the way back to square one, but I still kind of have to do more of the dungeon than I probably should at this point. No, go in your hole. I do more of my dungeon than I probably need to, simply because I am crawling through every single location while I do this. No, don't explode yet. Okay, now explode. I wish I didn't have to wait for that to explode to go in this room. There we go. Actually, I wonder if there is a strat like- wait, that's right, I just made that a rupee room. I can leave. Just to confirm. This is just a rupee room, yes? Yes. And I don't need money anymore. But yeah. Well, I guess speaking of the not needing money or anything, I guess this is- we did- I have now learned the hard way that you to get the money you need for the extra stone chambers all comes from doing Dompe's extra dungeons at the very end of the game. Which you don't even need to, need, need to be a post game where I am right now to do it. It's just you just need to come and do these. Having those extra, extra chambers probably makes doing some of these a lot easier. Could you open up your tail please? Moldorm, please. Moldorm, please. This is this is just embarrassing for everybody involved. There. It's handled. It is finished. Oh boy. Hey Dampe, can you stop with this? I just realized there's 12 dungeons. Each of these dungeons is going to be shaped like one of our 12 sub-items. Uh. Well, let me see. Yep. I'm mad I called this. Because this is the ocarina. Oh? Oh, can I make this one super short? I'll worry about that another time. Actually, yes, I can make this super short. You know, I'm going to do this one instead because I know that the bow, bows are better than swords dungeon is incredibly long. It's going to be incredibly long part of this video, so we're just going to do this one. I feel like I can do this one. I feel like I can do this one in, in very few seconds. I don't even think I need to cut away to do this. Alright, simple room, simple room, simple room. Uh, no cracked walls, though. Simple room. Let's see, simple room with a turn. That's a room to clear, dang it. Simpler, simpler, simpler. Perfect. Done. I need to cut away. Huh. Let's go. Three minutes to beat this one. Ah, House of Henox. So he's probably put every room that has a Henox in it in his dungeon. And that's probably the whole challenge of this. It's just going to be a Henox, a Henox, and then probably... Oh god, he probably put the freaking slime in here as the, as the uh, final boss, didn't he? Eyeballs. Go in the pit. But yeah, I guess... I guess the, I'll leave this up to you guys to kind of explore around with and have fun with, but like, I gotta wonder, what does the, uh, uh, do the, 
do the, uh, when you make your own dungeon, can you, like, set these time regulations and stipulations? Because I feel like that'd be a necessity almost at this point. Bong, yep. Hey, 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 hey. Fine, I'll swing my sword now. You caused me to start swinging my sword. Don't ever make me swing my sword. Okay, that worked. Stupid bat. Now I need my key. This one's actually cute because it just looks like an eyeball. A Hinox eyeball. Let's go! Okay, that's a wall, but we went. Yep, it's just all Hinoxes. Come to me. I'm just so glad that we've got power for this route. I'm so glad that for these last few videos we've gone power. Just so I can experience the power. Feel the power. The power is in your hands, Nintendo Power. I'll say curiosity. Yeah, okay, my one fairy is still missing. I could probably bottle a fairy. Of course, you make it the boss is gonna take the longest. Hey guys, it's a speed run now. Two minutes to beat this boss. Could you imagine if I got here with only a minute left? By the way. Yes, yes. I, I can't. I can't hurt you, but the bottles are tougher. Yada yada yada. Please hurry up and do your song and dance. Song and dance. Do it. Do you? Do your dance, tiny dancer. Gotcha. Now, come hither. Pick, throw. God, it's like 15 seconds per cycle. Isn't it weird that it makes me feel like I'm metagaming this, but when I keep when I say stuff like that, like, it's 15 seconds per cycle. Okay. Yes, I broke your bottle. Now please, attempt to attack me. From one of the two positions. Throw a fireball, dance around it. Oh, I can't I can't one shot you with this move. Dang it. Come here. Come here. Come, come, come. Okay, why are you so much stronger? Please hurry up. Time is of is of the essence, Mr. Genie. Well, good thing I didn't try to make that dungeon longer than it is. Well, that was great. Anyway. Everyone, I do want to thank you so much for watching this episode of Link's Awakening, the remake. Come back next time when we'll do the Ocarina House and something else. You folks have a great rest of your day, and take care.